Today we are going to hook to a Bluetooth speaker using our Linux shell. Obviously most distributions have a GUI interface, a graphical user interface for connecting to Bluetooth devices, but we're going to look at one of the few options we have for the shell. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see if we can get this speaker playing. As I stated, there's a few different options you have when it comes to connecting to Bluetooth devices from your Linux shell, uh, but we're just going to use uh, Bluetooth control uh, application today. You'll probably want to install these packages if you don't already have them installed. Uh, the first one here is post Pulse Audio Module Bluetooth. Uh, Pulse Audio is the sound system that I'm currently using and is common on most Linux desktop distributions. Uh, the Blues with a Z, Blues Firmware and Blues 2. Th this Blues might actually install these two, but I'm gonna go ahead and just say install all those. Um, I already have them installed, so I'm just gonna skip that. Now, let's look at what uh, audio outputs I have on my computer. Uh, there's two different commands you can try. Uh, if they're not installed, you can use app to install them, but Pulse Mixer is a shell-based one, and here you can see I have the analog stereo, that's the audio card that's built into my motherboard, and then I also have my USB audio headphones. I'm gonna hit Q to get out of that. If you prefer a graphical um, interface, PAVU control, one thing in a graphical uh, interface, you can see my two audio outputs uh, right now. Okay, let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and run the command blue, Bluetooth CTL, Bluetooth control, and that's one that comes with the Blues package that we just installed. We'll go ahead and enter, and now we're in its interface. You can see that currently my uh, Bluetooth device on my machine, and it is parable, but we want to find this Bluetooth speaker. So let me go ahead and power up this Bluetooth speaker. I have not connected this, this Bluetooth speaker to this computer yet. Turn it on and it's connected to my phone, so I'm gonna put it into pairing mode. Okay, now I can type in scan on, and now we'll give it a moment and we'll scan, and there we go, that is the device I'm looking for. It gives you the name, and it gives you the uh, MAC address. So at this point, I'm gonna type scan off. I'm not sure if that's uh, needed, but I have found that if I leave scan on, it lots of times it won't connect to a device. So first thing we need to do now that we found the device and we've got its MAC address is pair it. We're gonna say pair, and I'll just paste in that MAC address. And it connected. If the device requires a pin, it will ask you for the pin. Next, I'm going to trust that device so that my computer sees it as a trusted device. Now that we've paired it, we've trusted it, let's go ahead and just connect to it. So connect and that MAC address and it's connected. Let me go ahead and exit out of this interface and I will clear the screen and I will pulse mix and again now you can see that device is on my audio, one of my audio outputs and right now it's set as my default device. It, my computer detected it as a new device and switched over it. Again you can do uh, PAVU control to output devices you can see that speaker right there. So we successfully connected to it. Let's see if I do uh, e speak, and I say hello world from Linux shell. Hello world from Linux shell. That came out of the Bluetooth speaker. So that's connecting Bluetooth speakers or really any Bluetooth device uh, to your system. So short, simple. I hope you find that useful. Again, there are other options. And uh, oh, I guess I should also mention. Um, the Bluetooth control, if you wanted to run a command, well, let's go into here real quick, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, uh, of course, you can always type help for all your options, uh, but what we're going to do is exit out of this, and I'm going to show you that you can actually run those commands. We went into the interface, but if I do scan on from here, it's going to turn scan on, start looking for devices. Uh, of course, I can control C to kill that. If I try to control uh, scan off, it already does if I've disconnected from that. Uh, I also want to mention, so you can also obviously pair devices this way straight from the shell without going into the interface. Uh, but let me go ahead and do scan on. And if I try to scan on again, you'll get an error. It tells you right here that it's already in progress. Same if I try to scan off. So I'll scan off now. It says discovering stop, but if I try to run it again, it will say failed. That's because it's already off. So if you get an error, it will probably tell you, the last part of the error will tell you what it is. Um, like if you're trying to pair and you're trying to pair again, it might tell you pairing already in progress. 
Uh, so you can't do something that's already been done without undoing it, if that makes any sense. So uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Also check out my Patreon. Link in the description below as well. And I hope that you have a great day.